My name is uh, Stanley Watkins and uh, from Manhattan, Kansas, and I'm a shareholder. And uh, I have two questions, and the first one I, I know the answer, so you can just say yes or no. <laughs> uh, would you consider investing in indexes such as OEX, pure speculation? Um, uh, you're going to say yes. And number two, uh, would you encourage investors to, uh, if they were trying to get uh, a lot of their investment, to use leaps on investments such as Coca-Cola instead of buying the stock? Use what on? Uh, I missed that. Leaps. Leak? Leaps. Leaps. Oh, yeah. oh, I see. We're still on options. Oh, options. yeah. Well, yeah, both the questions relate to to futures of one sort, uh, calls or whatever they may be. And, and uh, uh, I think that uh, uh, investors should stick to buying ownership in businesses. I, uh, it's not that you can't come up with a theoretical argument for buying, say, a, I mean, if you think Coca-Cola is attractive, you can say, well, I'd rather buy a five-year option on, on Coke than buy the stock directly because it in introduces leverage without the risk of going broke. But uh, I think that that's a dangerous path to start down because it, uh, it if it works well, it, it's so it, it, it's it's dynamite to start playing with things that can expire and become worthless, or or can be bought with very low margin, as the as the uh, OEX options you were talking about. Uh, borrowed money usually or frequently leads to trouble, and it's not necessary. I mean it it. it uh, you know, if, if you had some compelling reason, if you're going to, if you had to double your money by the end of the year and be shot, you know, then I would head for the futures market because you, you know, you, you need to do it. I mean, you have to, you have to introduce borrowed money, but, but uh, you really ought to figure out how you can be happy with the present amount of money you've got, and then figure that everything else is, you know, all to the good as you go along. And and uh, uh, I, I don't, I don't think people, once they start focusing on short-term price behavior, which is the nature of buying, buying uh, calls or, or leaps or, or uh, speculating in index futures. Once you start concentrating on that, I think you t you're very likely to take your eye off the main ball, which is just valuing businesses. So I, I don't recommend it. Charlie? Well, this is a group of affluent investors, and I don't think many of them did it in leaps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's certainly true. If we if we'd operated Berkshire with considerable borrowed money over the years, you know, it it would have done very much better than it has. But but nobody knew what that amount of borrowed money would have the appropriate level would have been, and it wouldn't have made any difference to us. I mean, we have just as much fun uh, doing what we've done than if we if we'd owned it on leverage and and it'd been twice as much. I mean, it, it just it's just not, it's not the way we approach it. Um, if you have X and you think you're going to be way happier when you've got two X, it, it, it's probably not true. It, it, uh, it's, uh, you really ought to enjoy where you are at the point. And if you can make, you know, if you can make 12 or 15% a year and you desire to save and you like piling it up, you know, it'll all come in time. And, and why, uh, you know, why risk losing what you need you know, and half for what you don't need and don't have it. It's never made a lot of sense to us. Warren wrote a letter when they were developing the security options businesses, and he urged the civilization not to allow the new exchanges. And uh, you can see how much attention they paid to him. <laughs> yeah, the usual amount. <laughs> <laughs> 